All right, with that backdrop, this tale of the tape brought to you by Air Asia. Now everyone can fly. Michael Bisping, 38 years old. Kelvin Gastelum is 26. Gastelum always giving up height in this UFC middleweight division. Both men weighing in at 186 pounds. Bisping will have the four inch reach advantage. All right, now to get us the introductions for the main event, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Our three judges scoring this contest at Octagon side are Charlie Keach, Khan Papayadanu, and Paul Sutherland. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Mark Goddard. And now, for those in attendance and UFC fans watching around the world, live from the sold out arena in Shanghai, China, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a wrestler and a boxer, holding a professional record, 14 wins, three losses, one no contest. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 186 pounds, fighting out of Yuma, Arizona, by way of Huntington Beach, California, USA, presenting the Ultimate Fighter Season 17 winner and the number nine middleweight contender in the world, Kelvin Gastelum! And now, introducing his opponent, Fight! Out of the red corner, this man is a ballet Tudo fighter, holding a professional record, 31 wins, eight losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 186 pounds, fighting out of Manchester, England, presenting the former UFC middleweight champion and the number two ranked middleweight contender in the world, Michael the Count. Bisping! Okay, gentlemen, you understand the rules you fight on. You list to me at all times, you keep yourself protected. When I say stop, you stop. If you want to touch gloves, do it now. Let's do this. Indeed, let's do this. Michael Bisping, a little bit subdued here, Dan. He's certainly taking this in his stride. I think he's just trying to enjoy this moment. He's talked about this, obviously, as being one of his last two fights. He wants to retire in London next year. This is just to alleviate some of the pressure going into yeah. that last fight for me. And I think he really yeah, enjoys these you kind ready? of fights where you he ready? takes it. them on short notice. He doesn't have to deal with the pressure in the build-up. And he knows what he gets with Kelvin Gastelum. He's going to start barreling that left hand down the pipe and try and take his chin off. Michael Bisping's been kickboxing since he was a young boy, so he's seen every single thing that Kelvin Gastelum can throw at him. Gastelum, the southpaw on the green trunks, Bisping out of the orthodox stances in black. Gastelum has been a very fast starter in his UFC career. Nice oh. body kick. Big body kick. Michael Bisping with a searching right hand. Nice jab. Yep, and a, a overhand right lands for the count as well. So you told me off the air you thought Bisping might run some clock a little bit, try to settle in early in this fight? I, I think he may, yeah, I think he may. I think the, the deeper he takes this, he knows his condition and is, is right. you know, unrivaled in the UFC, really. So the deeper this fight goes, the better his chances. I felt the same thing um, for, for the GSP fight as well, but unfortunately that didn't come to fruition. But in the build-up to this one, he talks about how good that training camp was and that he wants to show some of the improvements that he made in that training camp. And I think Kelvin Gastelum will give him that kind of fight. Didn't seem to be the easiest weight cut for Kelvin Gastelum, who invoked the towel, but was able to make the 186-pound limit yesterday. Yeah, and there was a little confusion. The first attempt, there was some uh, there was some towel grabbing going on, but the second time he weighed in, he took his shorts off and he stood on the scales, and you have my word, he made 186 without a problem. 
Bisping starting to find the range a little bit here. Two minutes in, nice. body kick for Gastelum. As Gastelum leans in for the body kick, Michael comes over the top with a right hand and just glances across the chin of Gastelum. Jason Perillo likes the footwork and the fainting out of Michael Bisping here early. Bisping using good feints to try and draw the attack. Michael always seems to do well against southpaws as well. It's that lead hook. He's, he's very good at coming over the lead shoulder. He did it to Rockhold and he did it to, to, uh, to Anderson Silva, dropping both men with the same punch. Fans getting behind Michael Bisping here, about two and a half minutes in. Oh! oh! Nice one, two for Gastelum. Bisping is out. Wow! And Gastelum finishes Michael Bisping early in round one. Celebration is on for Team Gastelum. Obviously a disappointed Michael Bisping as Kelvin Gastelum takes care of business early tonight. And a tremendous show of respect there to the former UFC middleweight champion who stepped up for the promotion yet again into this headlining spot tonight against a very dangerous opponent. Let's get to the fight replay brought to you by Budweiser. This Bud's for you. What a one-two there from KG. The power of Kelvin Gastelum is absolutely incredible. You can see there Michael Bisping was just reaching with that right hand. Kelvin Gastelum slips back, catches him with a counter. Look, here's the right hand that comes, slips out, catches him with the lead hand, and then bam, the big left hand down the barrel. Kelvin Gastelum, my goodness, what power this young man has in his hands. Every single middleweight has to be on notice now because in any second of the fight, Kelvin Gastelum could steal your consciousness away. What a beautiful performance, and you can see how much it means to him. Gets back in the win column after that disappointment against Chris Weidman. Obviously, that's a rematch he's gonna be looking to get because he was so close to finishing that fight in the first round. And now to knock out the former middleweight champion in such emphatic style. Beautiful. Well, and what a highlight reel this kid has put together at 26 years old. Seven knockdowns in his last five fights. He has knocked down Chris Weidman, Vitor Belfort, Tim Kennedy, and now Michael Bisping, who he knocks down and out in the first round. A middleweight contender emerges tonight, and Kelvin Gastelum will assuredly find himself in the top five when the new rankings come out next week. Nice moment there for Gastelum and Vic Davila. One final time tonight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mark Goddard has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 30 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Kelvin Gastelum. All right, I'm here with your main event winner, Kelvin Gastelum. Congratulations. I know how much respect you have for Michael Bisping stepping up, but this night belongs to you. Congratulations on an epic knockout here in front of Shanghai Faith. Shanghai! <laughs> man, this this is the biggest win of my career, man. Uh, I'm gonna try not to get emotional. <laughs> you know, uh, this was the biggest win of my life. I have a huge amount of respect for for Bisping for stepping out, but uh, guys, I just gotta. I'm thankful. I'm thankful for my family at home. Thankful for uh, all the fans supporting here in Shanghai. Thank you, guys. Gracias a toda la gente que me está apoyando de México, de Latinoamérica, de toda mi familia, los quiero. 首先呢,非常感谢这场胜利可以算是我在生涯当中最重要的一场胜利,因为他对于他的对手比斯平真的非常尊重,他已经无法用言语来形容他非常感谢在远方支持他的家人,特别感谢在上海每一位支持他的
An awesome straight ride, so that's something we, we worked on a lot. 当然呢，在呃刚好抓到他打空圈以后呢，做一个反击，这个也是他一直以来在训练呢所拥有的反应。Yeah, and then I just want to say thank you to my to my Kings MMA family, you guys at home in Huntington Beach. You guys are the best. We are the best team in the world, baby. On a mission for gold. Let's go. 还是特别要感谢我们的家人，还有在现场支持我的所有的朋友。Three UFC main events for you here in 2017. You put a capstone on your year by taking out the former champion. You put yourself in a position to call your shot here. Who and when might be next for Kelvin Gaston? 然后在二零一七年有三场重要的胜利，而今晚特别把前世界冠军比斯平也打打倒。所以在下一个目标，你脑海里面有谁呢？ Well, I heard a rumor that Robert Whittaker needs a main event in February in Australia. I'm up for the challenge. Robert Whittaker 在澳洲好像听说要准备要打了，所以这个可能是他的下一个目标。Congrats on a huge night. All the best, ladies and gentlemen. Your main event winner, Kelvin Gastelum. All right, we step over here and talk to perhaps the most inspirational professional athlete that I have ever come across, the future UFC Hall of Famer, Michael Bisping. I know it didn't go the way you expected it to here tonight, but we all thank you for stepping up. Your thoughts on, on everything that transpired over the last three weeks and tonight. 当然呢，呃，今天的比斯平可以说是我们的看过最有启发性的，而且肯定会将来登入名人堂的我们的格斗家。今天呃，在这么短时间收到通知以后来参加比赛，其实对于我们粉丝来讲也是非常重要的。I just want to say congratulations to Kelvin Gastelum. Job well done tonight. Thank you all for being here. Hope you all enjoyed it.、Um, you know. I was enjoying myself. I was enjoying myself. He got me with a good shot. God bless Kelvin. He's young. I've done this for a long time, man. I'm, I'm getting old. I'm getting old. But、uh, God bless you all for being here. Thank you. 首先呢，我特别恭喜盖斯特鲁姆能够赢得今天的胜利，也特别感谢在场所有每一位的来。观赏我们比赛的，因为希望大家有看到一场精彩的比赛。他自己呢已经打了很久了，自己年纪已经越来越大，所以他也祝福呃呃凯文·盖斯特鲁姆会有更美好的职业生涯。Been an honor the entire time. You still looking at maybe one more in March? I hate to even ask you right now, but you looking at one more in London or what? 啊，当然了，呃，所以我们看了你很久，但是大家还是想做再看你再多打几场哦。You know, Kelvin's a great guy, but unfortunately, it's going to take a bigger pile of shit than him to get rid of me. So,、uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for being here. Congratulations to Kelvin. My family back at home. I love you dearly. Sorry I didn't get it done. All these guys here, this team, everybody in England that supports me. Thank you so much. It really does. Congratulations to Kelvin. Well done. Well done. Love you all. Sorry, guys. All class, ladies and gentlemen, the former UFC middleweight champion, Michael the Count Bisping.